headshot. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game snipers. Because at the end of the day, long as there's two people left on the planet, someone is gonna want someone dead. For this list, we've selected the best and most memorable gaming snipers. The chosen characters can either be playable, enemies, or supporting storyline characters, but they have to have some sort of personality. I just had my rifle with me. Just me against all of them. Number 10. Agent Falcon, Silent Scope series. Good luck. One of the standout arcade light gun shooters was Silent Scope, boasting a giant plastic sniper rifle with usable scope. Starting from Silent Scope 2, Agent Falcon is sought out by world leaders to complete dangerous covert missions, usually to prevent things like terrorist attacks, nuclear threats, and all sorts of fun stuff. Agent Falcon himself isn't the most developed character, preferring to work alone and constantly butting heads with his ally, Agent Jackal. Fine, but the next time you move without my permission, I'll assume you're trying to escape and I'll nail you myself. But the combination of insane missions and the sense of immersion from using the cabinet-mounted sniper rifle makes him unforgettable. I think that was his best performance ever. Number nine, June A266, Halo Reach. Jackpot. June and Romeo, the two most famous snipers in the Halo series, are quite different from one another. Romeo is assertive and aggressive, whereas June is more composed, though still prone to chattiness and excitement. When the cat runs and up, direct action is always necessary. June was one of the original candidates for the Spartan 4 project, due to his excellent marksmanship. He separates from the team in order to escort Dr. Halsey, and is never seen again. Though he might be dead, there's also a chance that he is the only squad member from Halo Reach to actually survive. I require no escort, Commander. June, make sure nothing falls into enemy hands. I'll do what's necessary, sir. Number eight, Sharla, Xenoblade Chronicles. We can't lose hope just yet. Sharla is unique because she combines two jobs that don't normally go together, sniper and medic. When Sharla's colony was attacked and destroyed, she and her brother Juju helped all of the survivors reach a refugee camp. When Juju is kidnapped by the evil Zord, Sharla decides to join Shulk and his team. Tell me! There's a mech on! It's taken Juju! Though not the strongest character, Sharla's combination of long distance attacks, healing powers, and support magic make her one of the most invaluable party members in Xenoblade Chronicles. I swear I won't stop until I've scrapped each and every one of you! Number seven, Irvine Kinius, Final Fantasy VIII. Generally, snipers are the strong, silent type, but not Irvine. Arrogant and mouthy, he makes up for his questionable personality by being the best shot at his academy. Irvine is lonely and overcompensates by flirting with every girl in sight, although he is a loyal companion who comes to see his team as his family. Once he joins your squad, it will be difficult to remove him from your active roster. His limit break, with proper ammunition, can become one of the most devastating attacks in the game. Number six, Caitlyn, League of Legends. Right, I love a good chase. The sheriff of a town known for its almost non-existent crime rate, the citizens of Piltover can thank Caitlyn for their safety. Caitlyn has been attempting for years to track down her arch rival, a master criminal. She enters the League of Legends to improve her skills and to search for leads. Caitlyn's rifle isn't exactly standard issue, but her aim and shooting expertise are unrivaled. I was hiding! <laughs> Using a combination of long-range, single-opponent attacks and traps to make her shots easier, Caitlyn is a formidable opponent. Plus, she wears a top hat. Bonus points. <laughs> Number 5. Craig Boone, Fallout, New Vegas. They told us to shoot till we were out of ammo, so that's what we did. There are several memorable companion characters available in Fallout New Vegas, including a super mutant and a cyborg dog. So why would you pick Boone to tag along with you on your misadventures through the wasteland? Simple, Boone is the best shot in New Vegas. Standing orders were to shoot on sight. He also wears a totally badass aviators and beret combo. Formerly of the NCR militia group, this hardened sniper jumps at the opportunity to leave his dead-end job as a town guard and track down the men who kidnapped his wife. Number four, Carl Fairburn, Sniper Elite Series.
When it comes to military accomplishments, you're going to have a really hard time beating Carl Fairburn. He's the guy who destroys armored trucks with a precise bullet shot, and the guy who killed Hitler. Yes, Hitler. Raised in Berlin, Fairburn's proficiency in German allows him to disguise himself and infiltrate the Reich to track down the Nazis' nuclear technology before the Soviets can get their hands on it. Carl Fairburn is a master sniper, but is almost equally proficient at close range, making him a deadly threat to any Nazi or Soviet troops that are standing between him and his mission. Number 3, Mordecai, Borderlands series. There is a couple of sniper characters in the Borderlands series, but only Mordecai has a pet bird, bat thing named Bloodwing that flies around killing bandits with dive bomb attacks. So dead. Sure, Zero from Borderlands 2 is a badass cyborg ninja, but he's more of an infiltrator than a sniper. Mordecai, on the other hand, is a true marksman. He's so precise that he won a marksmanship contest using a revolver while his companions were using sniper rifles. He's that good. He's also an alcoholic with an insatiable thirst for money and women, but we'll let that slide. Get drunk, pass out. <laughs> Number 2, The Sniper, Team Fortress 2. Boom, hit shot. The Sniper is a rough and tumble marksman born in New Zealand, but who earned his chops growing up in the Australian outback. Not a crazed gunman, Dad. I'm an assassin. <laughs> well, the difference being one has a job and the other's mental sickness. His upbringing is readily apparent, considering his stereotypical outback style gear. Not much is known about this mysterious man, but he is unrivaled on the battlefield when it comes to long range shooting, headshots, and delivering critical hits. The only sign that the sniper is getting a beat on you is that menacing red laser. So keep your eyes peeled. Alert. The control Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You know how to use that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. Think you can get to me? Many have tried. None have managed it. Target acquired. I have a positive ID on Emron Zekaev. Number one, the end. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. There are several snipers in the Metal Gear Solid series, with the Kurdish beauty Sniper Wolf and the silent bikini model Quiet. But none are more deadly than The End. With supernatural camouflage and photosynthesis powers, the end can stay immobile for weeks, lining up the perfect shot. My sleep would have been eternal. The end uses his pet parrot to help track Snake down. And if you're a real jerk, you can shoot that stupid bird. His boss fight is quite the grueling battle, but there is a way to make things a bit easier. If you save and quit during the battle and then start playing again a week later, he'll have died of old age. We're not kidding. You mean you kick the bucket in the middle of a battle? Maybe. Well, Snake, the victory is yours. Agree with our list? Which sniper had you keeping your head down? Boss, you are going to regret this. For more lethal top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Uh.